So if you get a flat tire with your riding mower, the problem is you probably had to drive back to your garage on it, and by that time, it's not just flat, but it's also off the bead. And I have that problem here, I got a flat tire, and on the inside I can push the tire and there's no seal, there's a big gap. So if I just tried to fill this back up with my air compressor, the air would just come out. You have to compress that tire and seal the bead on the side. Now one way to do it is get a ratchet strap, and wrap it around and just crank down on that ratchet strap to push the tire out. But you can also do it with a string and a metal bar. And I'll show you how to wrap it right now. One more thing I forgot to mention, you have to jack it up with a car jack to get it off the ground to be able to do this because you're going to wrap rope around this tire and it needs to be up in the air. So jack it up in the air first. So here's the tire and it's pretty tight on this side but on the inside you can see there's a huge uh, gap on the rim. So what you need is a piece of rope, put a loop in one end, wrap it around, put it through the loop. But before you pull it tight, put a bar through and twist it once. Then you continue to wrap it and wrap it around the bar a couple more times, locking it in. Now what you're going to do is Twist this some more, and you're pushing, you gotta hold the rope tight, you're pushing that bead, pushing the tire down and pushing it out on the sides, sealing it on that bead. So now, I can feel it's tight on this back side. Now we can fill it up with our uh, air compressor. There we go. I didn't have it. Uh, Didn't have it sealed on the uh, filler tube here. And these only need about 15 psi of air. Okay, these only need about 15 psi of air, not very much. And this is a really old tire. You can see there's no tread left on it. So I'm going to only fill it up to 10 psi, which is right there. And there it is, it's good as, hopefully make, I was gonna say good as new, but hopefully it'll make it one more year. So that's it, really quick and easy. The tough part is getting that seal around the, uh, the edge of the tire and the rim, and you gotta do that by squeezing it somehow, either with a car jack or a rope, and you really have to squeeze it to get that seal, um, or else it won't inflate, it'll just leak out the side. But hopefully that tri trick helps, thanks. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.